It's Time Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Mitch O'Farrell is here. He was recently elected to the Los Angeles City Council. Congratulations. A tremendous victory, a tough victory, a well-fought victory. What went right? Thank you, Brad. I think what went right was that we got our message across that I was the neighborhood-based right. block-by-block candidate who had experience in the district. You literally did. You worked for Mr. Garcetti when he was in the council for 10 years, Correct, 10 and years. you were in the district, so you did know each stitch of that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? It feels great. Uh, I'm just thrilled beyond belief. Right. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of work to do. No doubt. Uh, but I thought long and hard about this before deciding to run, and, and I'm ready. I can imagine. I want to speak about the Los Angeles River. Mm -hmm. I had the honor of doing a project with Mr. Reyes, Ed Reyes, who recently left the council due to term limits. Mm -hmm. It was a documentary about the LA River, and I learned so much about how the river had been an integral part of Los Angeles 80, 90, 100 years ago. It's been channelized, and now the river is metaphorically in our backyard, not our front yard. Right. Mr. Reyes has been looking to change that. Are you looking to take up his mantle? I sure am. He and I did a lot of, we had a lot of conversations leading up to the election. I worked closely with him and his staff over the years. Mm. I always staffed Eric when he was on the Ad Hoc River ah, Committee. Got it. So the river is also in my backyard in Glassell Park. Right. I would love to make it my front yard as right. well. And so right. I, I'm very eager to take up that mantle. I know Mr. Reyes had tremendous success uh, before the downturn, getting federal funds, getting state funds. It's been tricky since the downturn. Now that the economy's turned around, do you think we can turn our attention back to revitalizing the LA River? I think we can. And even while the, the economy was down, we had city staff and, right. and professionals working on those grants, meeting with the feds. And I think we're on our way to some really exciting so. developments there. I want to talk about your district specifically, the 13th district, which in a lot of ways is a tale of two cities, metaphorically speaking. There are some beautiful areas, hip areas, uh, gentrified areas, and then some challenged areas. Mm -hmm. um, not like other areas, other districts, you know, more homogenous, mm -hmm. metaphorically speaking. Talk to me about how you meet the challenges of a district that is so economically diverse. It is It is diverse every which way right. you slice right, it, right. economically, right. you know, yeah, everything. everything. Yeah. And Absolutely. so I think you bring mm -hmm. the resources together. Uh, it, it's, it is a microcosm of the city. Mm -hmm. And LA is a city of haves and have nots. Right. And I think good public policy will, will uh, shorten uh, that gap. Right. And I think within the District 13, I want to really play a role in bringing those resources uh, in some of the most advantaged uh, communities mm. to the disadvantaged communities. How? Um, in, uh, activating, mm. uh, empowering people to become more active. And I have a, a real focus. I focused during the campaign, and I will focus as council member on the areas that are some of the, the traditionally uh, underserved areas along the Beverly Boulevard corridor, mm -hmm. Melrose, Temple, it, Santa Monica. Because it's interesting, when 20 years ago, Glassell Park, that was a challenged area. Sure. Echo Park, who went to Echo Park or Los Feliz? And that yeah. area has come back. It's all coming so back. So clearly there is a model for that. Um, how do you work with those disparate interests? Because they are disparate. They're disparate, except there's a, a great energy occurring, and it's part of a national trend of people moving back to their urban core. Right. So there's a desire for people to live in all these neighborhoods again, and the 13th district is an urban core it is. district. So there's that with uh, Knockwood, the economy's improving, right. and, and uh, investors are wanting to come into these areas now. I want to link all of these disparate interests together for the greater good, and I think we can do it. In our final moments, what was the moment like when you realized I did it. Uh, it, it was at 3 a.m. when 100% of the votes that night had <laughs> been counted. And I, I said to the, uh, right, all core. of the core, yeah. I said, okay, I think we won. <laughs> and then we all let our, you know, let loose. Congratulations again. He's Mitch O'Farrell, member of the Los Angeles City Council. I'm Brad Pomerantz. This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.